Alright y'all, it's main event time at Pecan Grove. Sun has went down, it is time to ride. I'd like to give a huge thanks to Dan Casey for letting me sit in his hot rod. He couldn't make it the day he had plans. Huge thanks to my dad, he come out and helped me make this thing turn left all day. Without him, none of this stuff would, would be possible. We, we wouldn't be able to make three laps. Definitely a huge thanks to Sammy Thomas, his wife, and everybody that throws this event on. And, Comes out and lets us race in circles on a dirt track all day long and deals with us crazies. Looks like it's about time to go green. Green flags out. Here we go. Looks like Tyler, he done jumped up under us. He didn't pay a lot of attention at the driver's meeting, which is pretty much expected of him. Ain't supposed to jump till we clear turn one. But anyway, we ain't worry about that. Looks like it's time to roll, so we racing now. Like my man got under me there. He trying to make a move. It ain't looking too good right now. We're falling back. That's all right. It's early in the race. We'll see if we can try to make some moves and make it on back up a little bit. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. I don't like they getting away too much. Looks like we're staying with them, so that's, that's good. The track's definitely a little slick if you get out of the groove. If you stay in the groove, it ain't too bad, but you move over any at all, it's a little you likely to take a ride for sure. Oh my man, come down on me a little bit there. Didn't mean for that to happen, but sometimes it works out like that. I hate that for him. Look like we got us a caution flag. Gonna line us back up. See what happens here. Definitely turned into a nice night. Weather was about perfect. Like we're gonna go green back around, see if we can try to make some moves on old Justin there who's up ahead. Look like we still got old Ricky Bobby up in front there. He's riding Crawford's cart. And the green flag's out. Justin trying to make a move on Joey. It didn't quite work out. But like we got old Speller right there behind us. He's trying to work up something. You gotta watch Speller. He'll put the bumper on you. Look like somebody trying to make a move on him now. Look like Justin might be holding me up a little bit. Come on, Justin. You gotta get out of the way, man. There we go. That won't too dirty we just give him a little nudge and move on by right clean like Justin doing pretty good tonight like he got the cart handling pretty well now we need to see if we can run Joey down did a little work there Boy, still got a decent little gap on me. <clears throat> Lap traffic coming up. See if we can get on by him. That was pretty clean. It don't always work like that with like lap traffic, that's for sure. Got some cart back there crashed. I don't know if we get us another caution. Looks like we're gonna stay green. Got us a pile up there. Look at Cody Speller. Where he coming from? Well, he done been in the pits making some sneaky changes or something. I don't know if he was back there in the pile up or he he been in the pits making changes on us. You gotta watch him. Can't have too many more laps. We were knocking them out pretty quick there for a few minutes. Need 
to see if I can make a move on old Joey up here. I'm gonna go green at the flag man. The green flag's down. Can't quite make nothing happen there. Ooh, and I screw up there and run up on his tire. White flag's out. Justin done made a move and got under me. Then I run in a little high and that is about over. After all that, the whole race, I done screwed up. Well, it was definitely a good time. And we're going to go around to the checker flag and that, where I ended up, I have no idea. Well, that was a good time. Y'all come on out and check out the racing at Pecan Grove when you get a chance. You'll be sitting at home on the couch. See y'all.